Right now I'm melting the, the rope ever so slightly. You don't want to burn it clear through. Then I'm going to put it in between the two pieces of cardboard so I don't burn myself and kind of roll it into a needle. And roll it. Gonna do that on all four ends. The next step is to gonna be to find the center of your ropes. So keep the ends together. Here's the center. I'm just gonna do a really quick overhand knot. It's nice and easy to take out. This will help you as you're doing this along the way. Gonna do it to the other rope. Here's the center. And I'm just going to tie a really easy knot. Now, you have a bucket of water. You can put um, any type of soap in it. I just have some hand soap. Dish soap works. I'm going to put that in there. This really helps with the friction on the rope as you're pulling all this rope through the lacing. And go ahead and soak the rope for about five minutes or so. When I do it, I usually try to leave the ends that I've just uh, turned into nice solid needles out of the water so they don't re-soften back up. A very important step is to find the center of both the raft and the floor. You'll see the depths of these loops, how much deeper this one right here is than the ones next to it. This is the center lacing loop on the collar of the raft. You notice that both the floor and the collar are kind of soft pressure. You don't have to have it too hard on running pressure. We've opted to go ahead and put the valve at the front of the raft. You're going to want to really make sure that these drain holes are facing up when you do this. You don't want to lace in your floor and find out that you've installed it completely upside down. Okay, we're ready to start lacing. Once again, I'm going to make sure I've got these two deep cut tabs lined up. You can start on the floor or the collar. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to go ahead and start on the collar. You thread that through one of these tabs and pull it till you get to the knot that you tied in the center of the rope. This knot is actually really going to make your life easier so you're not pulling feet and feet of rope through as you go. So I started on the collar, now I'm going to go to the floor. So as I go, I'm going to alternate every other one from the collar to the floor. As you're going along, you do want to make sure you pull the raft nice, the, the floor nice and tight because you're not going to want, see just kind of like that, you are not going to want a sloppy floor when this is all laced in because it will affect the performance of the raft. You just keep alternating every other one. Okay, I've gotten uh, halfway around the boat, back to the center of my raft and the center of my uh, floor, as noted by these deep notches. I'm going to give it one more nice pull really tight right here, just like that. Okay, I'm back to my starting point here where I've tied this knot. I'm just going to undo it. It's going to get a little tight on you, but it's not too bad. Now I'm going to take my first rope and go around the other half of the boat. You can kind of open up the, uh, the lacing loops a little bit by kind of just pushing down on it just like that. It does make the rope a little easier to slide through, especially on some of those stubborn ones. Okay, I've gotten completely done with my first rope and I've met back up into the center of the collar and the center of the floor. Now I'm going to pull both ropes, both ends, nice and tight one more time. Then we're going to keep it pretty simple by tying a series of either overhand knots or square knots. I kind of personally like square knots. Heat up these last few knots just so they don't come undone. You could also take out the torch and do it. Just be careful not to uh, burn the PVC on your raft. Grab your scissors and cut the ends. 
Get that lighter out again. Burn these ends so they don't fray out. When you're done with this step, take that series of knots. You don't want that at the bottom of your raft, so just tuck it. Tuck it through so it lays nicely on the bottom of your raft. Okay, now you're ready to start with your second lace and rope. You're going to go on the side you ended on will be the side you start this next rope with. So, finding those centers, I'm going to go ahead and pull my first one through. Okay, we've made it all the way around with our second rope. Gonna pull it nice and tight again. And we're gonna do the same thing by doing a series of overhand knots or square knots, making a nice big chain again. Kind of put these two together. That way they melt right into each other. And this is going to get tucked back into the floor. So your knots aren't hanging out at the bottom of the raft, but tucked nicely on the inside of the raft. 